Welcome to the AccuShield podcast. I'm Deontay Davis, VP of Sales here. And today I have with me Scott Asher, our very own CRO, Chief Revenue Officer. Scott, how's it going? Great. Good. Glad to have you here. Happy to be here. Good. So, you know, today really the idea is to, uh, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, who AccuShield is, kind of what we're doing, um, what it's been like for you being here, and really where you see us going, you know, moving forward alongside the rest of the executive team. But before we dive into all that, I want to hear a little more about your background. And obviously today we're at the AccuShield Healthcare Staffing Innovation Workshop, right? Yeah. And everyone knows AccuShield. We've been around since 2013 as the touchscreen sign-in kiosk, really there to help communities and facilities know who's in the building from a safety and security perspective. But, you know, over the last few years, our customers come to us and said, hey, Staffing is really one of the biggest issues, arguably the biggest issue in our industry, right? So, yep. you know, they've asked us, what can you guys do to help address that? Yeah. So we had the partnership with Book Jane and created AccuShield Flex to help with scheduling, call out, automated call out, also building an internal agency. So, and you've been right. obviously a huge, huge hand yeah. in all that. So we'd love to hear, you know, a little more about who you are, how you got here and, and what you're doing now. Yeah, no, uh, I'm excited to be here and excited to be here today. Finally, the staffing workshop is is upon us. We've been planning for it for a long time, quite a few months. Um, so happy to have it, and it seems to be going well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been with AccuShield since October of 2021. Um, so coming on two years this fall, and prior to that, I've had I've worked for gosh, a long, long longer than I'd like to admit, but probably 25 plus years. Yeah. Um, in all sorts of different technology companies um, in technology, different roles, um, ranging from kind of marketing and sales and operations primarily, sort of where I like to think of it, it's kind of mostly in, in go-to-market functions, like bringing a product to a market or expanding from uh, from one business into another. Um, so a couple of companies I've worked for, um, I was with Bell South for a long time, yeah. good old fashioned technology company yeah. or telephone company, but I was in a sort of a small little, uh, back in the day, back in the late nineties and into the early two thousands and, uh, at the time an, an internet startup business kind of within, within there, uh, trying to develop an online yellow pages, believe it or not, yeah. <laughs> sort of a precursor to what Google ended up kind of turning into it. It's mm-hmm. sort of a, a search engine, but we were trying to take what was a, directory and try to make it online and uh, sort of pair local businesses and try to sell to local businesses and consumers searching for those businesses. So that was fun because we were just building a brand new business uh, using the internet. Um, And that's morphed into a few different roles, including a company called RentPath. That's a similar business in terms of it's a technology media business, but running, if you're looking for an apartment, Mm -hmm. chances are you'd run into a site like rent.com or apartmentguide.com. And so we would help those apartments get leads and bring matching again, sort of renters looking for an apartment with communities that offer an apartment. Mm -hmm. Um, And then most recently, right before coming to, uh, coming to AccuShield, I was with a company called Cabbage, which was a a marketplace for lending. So small businesses that needed to raise money um, could come to Cabbage and, and get funding for their business. Cool. Yeah. Um, it ultimately, so that was a kind of a startup here in Atlanta, a smaller company um, than the others, but startup and it, it ultimately got acquired by American Express. Yeah, big um, acquisition. Big company uh, yeah. buying <laughs> buying it right in the middle of the pandemic. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I hung around American Express for a year or so afterwards, just trying to see if I sort of liked and yeah. just realized that a big company, it was, Great company, very respected company, but it was probably too big for what I wanted. Yeah. And so I thought, uh, uh, learned about AccuShield and loved the mission, loved the purpose, uh, and thought it'd be a good next step for me. Good. And your father's in a senior living community too, right? I just, yeah, I just went through the experience as a, as a consumer. Uh, yeah. So earlier this year, uh, realized it was probably time. Mm-hmm. We'd had conversations over the past couple of years. Um, and so, yeah, we moved him in. He moved into a, he's actually moved twice. He moved in January into one place on a 30 day respite yeah. uh, visit and thought that was a good way to kind of introduce him into senior living. He realized that 
it, the place we he started with wasn't probably the right place for him, mm -hmm. and so we moved in. He moved into a now is uh, a second place, and he's much he's happier, and Good. it seems like that's his now his his home. It's all yeah yeah. So Scott, um, you know what has been one of the most challenging things you've brushed up against since you've been here at AccuShield? Oh, um, I mean, part of it is we're, we're growing quickly and it's, it, there are, unlike maybe a lot of other companies, it's almost a, the challenge is what to focus on. Yeah. It feels like there's so many different things we could do. We're, we're small enough to be nimble. We have a great reputation, it seems, in, in the industry and based on feedback um, and even as evidenced by today, I feel like um, there's a lot of respect for AccuShield in the industry. And I think there's opportunities to get into a lot of different areas. And so to me, the challenge at times is just trying to figure out what's where to where to place your bets, because yeah. um, we can't do everything. But I think we've I think we've decided at least the next big bet is yeah. is staffing and yeah. shift management. Yeah. And so with shift management, let's talk a little bit about the marketplace. So yeah. what, what what is that? So the care, the, the AccuShield marketplace is really an opportunity for us to play in my mind, kind of this matchmaker role where you have supply and demand, you have the demand, you've got agent, you've got these communities that need to fill shifts and oftentimes very quickly. And you have agencies on the other side who want to, or have the ability to provide care givers mm -hmm. to help fill those shifts on short notice. Um, and so I view AccuShield as by building this marketplace, this AccuShield kind of a caregiver marketplace, we have the ability to really play that that broker and yeah. um, allow communities to, all of our existing customers can literally just post a shift on the, on the marketplace. And as we recruit agencies to join the marketplace, they then have the opportunity to to provide caregivers into the communities that they've probably not had the opportunity to provide care into before. Yeah. So it kind of opens up this opportunity for agencies and quite frankly, kind of levels the playing field where um, they have the opportunity to get into communities that haven't been before. And the communities themselves have the opportunity to see, have much more transparency into what yeah. pricing is, therefore, thereby probably lowering prices is, is yeah. the expectation. It's going to be a game changer. I mean, if you think about Hotels.com, Travelocity, yeah. all of these companies that provide a marketplace, provide a, a way where consumers can go and you know figure out what exactly is the best option, yeah. it's really what we're bringing to senior living for them. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's really not much different than that, except what's exciting is at the moment, it, it feels like we're we're we have the opportunity to own it we are sort yeah. of early days in this in the marketplace but feels like i'm sure how maybe the expedia has felt in in the early days too where mm -hmm. they can really help define what that what that is and I, I feel like we have we have the opportunity to define it for the industry kind of make yeah. a kind of a, a disrupt disrupt the way in which things have been done for a long time yeah it's gonna be a ton of fun so, you know, as you and the rest of the senior leadership team are looking at AccuShield and looking at potential opportunities where we take this company, where what do you see happening with AccuShield over the next one, two, three, five years? Yeah, it's a, uh, like I said, there, there's so many different things we could be doing. I, I think this, I mean, we're in the first inning right now with some of the, some of the, the bet on staffing and shift management and the marketplace. These are all things that we are just, as you know, just kind of getting off the ground. Um, so to me, that is a big part of our future is as as we get momentum here, I suspect when, when we think about the size of that market um, and how many, I mean, every survey and as again, just <laughs> by virtue of everyone that's at this at this workshop today, you hear the story time and time again yeah. Agency spend is out of control. Overtime is out of control. We have staffing issues, um, and it just feels like we are in we are we're solving the right problem. Yeah. So to me, that's not a you know do that for a year, check it off the list, and then head on to the next one. Like mm -hmm. that to me is going to be a big part of our future. Yeah. I, I do feel like though there's other big opportunities as well, and and the challenge will be how do you kind of walk and chew gum with mm -hmm. a few different things, but. To me, the other big one is still around. If if number one on most surveys and most lists is help me solve the problem of staffing, the other one is 
helped me get back to a level of occupancy that I was pre pre COVID or how I maintain some level of occupancy. Yeah. Um, and to me, that's another area that I feel like AccuShield could help. Mm -hmm. um, we play a little bit of a role right now with our reputation accelerator product. I, I think that's one way that, that our communities can promote themselves and, and be known and, and the way in which consumers like myself looking for places for my dad, more and more people just find things online and yeah. you look at reviews. So I think reputation accelerator is a big part of that, but mm -hmm. that's not the whole solution. And I feel like there's other ways we can probably solve or help yeah. in the occupancy. Yeah. I mean, there's so many issues surrounding senior living and I think that's probably been one of the biggest takeaways I've had from the workshop is, you know, getting all these operators together and hearing their experiences, what's been working, what hasn't been working. Yeah. So I'm pretty awesome to just see the wide variety of everything that's going on. And it's like, well, what, what issue, yeah. what challenge do we tackle next? Yeah. Kind of the exciting thing for me. Yeah, so, absolutely. I mean, what, what would you say has been one thing that you've taken away from the workshop that really stood out to you? Just uh, honestly, just exactly what you just said, just the, it's not one thing. There's, there's a lot of variation and everyone's story is slightly different. And, and how they're trying to go about it is slightly different. Um, but I've just, I've just enjoyed hearing in a, in a way sort of what they've tried and what's worked and what hasn't worked. Um, and so if I take away anything, it's that there, it's going to take some experimentation. It's going to yeah. take some people's, you know, hearing some people talk about their sort of leap of faith in a way to say, Hey, the way in which we've been doing things hasn't been working. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to just try something new. And if that means jumping out on a limb with, you know, as I think others have described, trying flex or trying something, something new, then that's what it's going to take. Because I think everyone has sort of come to the conclusion that what the way in which they've been working hasn't always been working. And yeah. they've got to try something new. Definitely. So a couple more questions that I got for you. Sure. Um, 20 seconds. Why would you tell someone to come to the next workshop that we have for staffing innovation? I think it's a great way for them to see other operators, learn from them, uh, learn. I think my guess is as we talk to um, af after today and tomorrow, we'll hear that from others is that it's a great networking opportunity. Rarely do you get the chance to come, not just to a, it's unlike a conference where you have um, just sort of, there's people there for different purposes. The people who are here is it's all about just learning and learning how to experiment and learn new things and learn from each other on what works, what doesn't work and best practices. Yeah. I mean, that was the big thing we tried to do differently than your standard conference, right? Like we didn't want people to just come here and listen to someone speak. Yeah. We wanted people to roll up their sleeves, figure out solutions, dig into problems and, you know, go home with something actionable that they can really implement. And just in the, in the conversations I've had, that's, that seems to be the, yeah. it seems to, we've, we've hit the mark yeah. from what I've heard. I've been, I've been podcasting all day and jumping in there a little bit and I, yeah. I get overwhelmed. It's a, a lot of information coming at you. Some good stuff. There is some good stuff. And, yeah. and I think it's, it's exactly, it's a workshop. It's not a, it's not a conference. Yeah. Not a conference. So uh, two more questions. Um, Astros or Braves? I'm a Braves guy all the way. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I I grew up a believe it or not I grew up a Yankees fan having grown yeah. up in New England uh, on the on the right side of on the New York side of New England and uh, and I, I still the Astros beat the uh, beat the Yankees in the the controversial year in which the yeah. Astros were later declared <laughs> to have been cheaters so I have, I'm a, I'm a little bitter over uh, that as well still B being from Texas I I take that that fairly hard. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, I've, I've come to love the Braves though, being in Atlanta now yeah. for 25 years. Can't, can't, you can't not like them. Yeah. yeah they're they're, they're a great team. I enjoy, I enjoy going to some Braves games. Yeah. Even though I'm a fair weather baseball fan, but <laughs> I'll, I'll claim the Braves. All right. So, uh, last question for you, Scott. Um, you've been in your career for quite some time. So if you can go back and give your younger self a piece of advice as you were starting out, what would mm. that be? Hmm. Um, Ask questions along the way. Um, don't feel like it's a, I think at times you don't want to admit that you don't know things um, and you try to just pretend like you know things and just you'll figure it out. But I think at times it's, it's much smarter just to be curious and ask questions. And I think most people, you know, if I was 
my 22 year old self, I, I feel like if I asked questions to my boss or somebody, they might think I was asking a stupid question or mm-hmm. I, I, so I wouldn't, I feel like that's a mistake. You ought to just, I think if anything, if people come to me and ask me questions, it, it tells me they're curious and want to yeah. learn and not, you know, that, that to me is the impression it gives off. Not, not that they're asking a stupid yeah, question. 100%. Scott, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, Enjoy no. chat with you a little bit about your background, where Aki Shield's heading, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun for the next few years, seeing yeah. all the different things we can tackle and how we can help out some of our partner communities and facilities. Yeah, I'm so, excited. Thanks. Excited as well. Thanks, Scott. All right. All right.